Hey everyone, so today we are going to see that doing a row operation on a matrix is same as to do the matrix multiplication and doing the column operation is also same as to do the matrix multiplication. Now how to do that matrix multiplication and with what matrix we should do multiplication that's what we are going to see today. And this is very important when you study advanced linear algebra or say numerical methods or numerical analysis subject or optimization techniques there we use these things okay now this is a matrix suppose this is a matrix a given to me now i'm doing operation i'm doing r2 minus 5 times r1 so my first row and third row will remain same r2 so 5 minus 5 times 1 which is 0 6 minus 5 times 2 so which is minus 4 7 minus 5 times 3 which is minus 8 and 8 minus 20 which is minus 12 so this is what you get and then you do other like if you want to make this 0 you do r3 minus 9 times r1 this is the next step but how can i get this matrix to this matrix by applying these operations without like doing this operation how can i get via matrix multiplication so what you do is you apply this operation on the identity matrix now here this is what is the order this is a 3 cross 4 I will pre-multiply this with a matrix. Now this is 3. So I will take 3 cross 3. Okay. Now instead of taking the identity matrix, I will apply this operation on the identity matrix. So what is identity matrix? 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. What is R2 minus 5, R1? 0 minus 5. So here it will be minus 5. 1 minus 0, 0 minus 0. Good. So you multiply your given matrix pre-multiply I would say you pre-multiply your given matrix by this matrix and if you observe you will get the same answer what is the first entry first row into first column 1 into 1 plus 0 into 5 plus 0 into 9 1 into one in, first row second column 1 into 2 0 into 6 0 into 10 1 into 3 0 into 7 0 into 11 and then 4 Let's go for the second entry. Second row, first column. Minus 5 into 1 is minus 5 plus 1 into 5 plus 0. So this is 0. Minus 10 plus 6 minus 4. Minus 15 plus 7 minus 8. Minus 20 plus 8 minus 12. 0. Third row, first column and so on. You get the last row as it is. So you can see doing the row operation is same as you pre-multiply your matrix with a nice matrix. What is that nice matrix? You apply the same row operations on the identity matrix and that's how you get your answer. Now suppose here if you want to do R3 changes to R3 minus 9 R1. Now we do this operation on identity matrix. So 100, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0 and r3 minus 9 so minus 9 0 1 and now you multiply this matrix by this matrix that we got and you get the same answer okay so keep this in mind if you are doing the row operation and if you want to do something kind of coding or see many calculators are available online and when you just put a matrix they give you the answer what is happening at the back end this matrix multiplication is happening so that's why one should know that doing row operation is equivalent to pre multiply your given matrix with a nice matrix what is that nice matrix is the identity matrix on which you have applied this operation now you can pause the video take a whatever say 3 cross 4 matrix or let's say 2 cross 3 matrix and do whichever row operation you want and also do this pre matrix multiplication and see whether you're getting a same answer or not now question is what if you're doing column operation then what you should do? Should you again pre-multiply? No. In that case, you should post-multiply. So I will give you a hint. Your job is to give a try. So what is the hint? Suppose this is a matrix A. I want to do, suppose second row. I want to do C2, second column. C2 minus 2 times C1. This is the operation I am doing. So what will I get? So my first, third and fourth column will remain same. There will be a change in the second column. So what will be the second column? It will be 2 minus 2, 0. 6 minus 10 is minus 4. 10 minus 18 is minus 8. And first, third, fourth column are same. 
now doing column operation is same as you post multiply so your matrix is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 you post multiply your matrix with a nice matrix now what will be the order of the matrix the matrix is 3 cross 4 for multiplication to make sense here it should be 4 so you take a 4 cross 4 matrix square matrix okay for pre multiplication you take identity matrix of order 3 cross 3 and then you apply the row operation for column operation you see number of columns so take an identity matrix of order 4 cross 4 and then apply this column operation okay so what is this 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 now you do c2 minus 2 times c1 so 0 minus 2 0 minus 2 is minus 2 1 minus 0 so this is the matrix you get after applying this operation and now you do your normal matrix multiplication this is 1 now 1 into minus 2 plus 2 into 1 0 so this is 0 now again you get the same thing 3 and 4 again if you try this is your 5 what is this 5 into minus 2 is minus 10 plus 6 minus 4 7 8 you will observe that you will get the same answer over here so that's what the idea is doing row operation is same as pre multiply the matrix doing column operation means you post multiply your matrix so i hope this idea is clear if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section if everything is clear do not forget to like share and subscribe thank you